boss battles can make or break a course. Today, I'm going to show you eight unique boss encounters unlike any that you've ever seen. Make sure to stay to the end for a truly epic boss idea. Let's get started. Luigi drops into a cove of evil dry bones enjoying a poison swim. The only way for him to safely escape the wrath of his enemies is to defeat the small dry bones one at a time. He needs to use the giant dry bones to jump around without falling into the purple sludge. When he hits an on-off switch, the bill blasters magically move. Not only them, but the giant dry bones Luigi was jumping on suddenly plummets into the grape jelly, making it so Luigi needs to move to the other side. This contraption works by using on-off conveyor belts that are hidden underneath the goop. A cannon can attach to the side of a conveyor belt, and we can rest a muncher on top of that. Finally, a bill blaster sits on the muncher, and the whole stack moves together when the on-off is triggered. For enemies, just switch out the bill blaster with the giant dry bones in the setup. The objective here is to alternate sides while carefully jumping on enemies to hit on-off switches. The rising bill blasters will crush each mini dry bones. The one-way gates ensure that only one small skeleton can move into the danger zone at a time. The wall and one-way gate make sure the bill blaster can't fire. Once all six dry bones are destroyed, Luigi will get two keys to use as he exits this arena. Bowser Jr. finds solitude in a frozen cave. Luigi, wanting to see his old nemesis, pays him a visit anyway. In this arena, Bowser Jr. is in an unreachable area and can launch fireballs effortlessly at Luigi. Luigi can't go through the bumper, so we'll have to think of another way to fight. What the Big Turtle Jr. didn't realize is that he can accidentally ignite this bob -omb, destroying a frozen block. Now a block can be hit, revealing a spiked shell that Luigi can kick at Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. is so angry that he destroys part of his relaxing nook and enters a Koopa Clown car that can't move. His new weapon of choice is giant Koopa shells. As these shells come flying at poor Luigi, he will need to jump on them at the perfect time. If the shell stops above the bottom of this cloud elevator, it will rise all the way to the bed of clouds. Luigi can kick the big shell through the bumper and return it to the sender. He just needs to look out for note blocks on tracks that occasionally block the pathway of the shell. A total of two giant shell kicks will finish the job and reward Luigi with a key. Do you think every course should have a boss? Type yes or no in the comments below. Luigi goes on an archaeological dig and discovers an ancient door. When he enters, he finds spiky creatures that block his way to treasure. Stacks of spines walk along the cubed ground and need to be carefully avoided. Giant spike tops with muncher headgear create a painful wall above donut blocks. Luigi's goal here is to move a muncher across the top of the arena to eventually hit a P-switch. In order to reach his objective, Luigi will need to trigger the on-off switches. In the new Super Mario Bros. style, he's able to ground pound on the seesaws to launch a muncher in the air. This muncher flies high enough to chomp an unsuspecting bob -omb, but not high enough to get stuck on the semi-solid above. The startled bob -omb explodes, which activates the on-off block. This gets the top muncher one step closer to the P-switch, but it closes off the side that Luigi just ground pounded. That means he's going to have to move to the other side to continue this process while bob -omb's continue to flood out of the pipes. Once Luigi successfully chomps enough bob -omb's to trigger the P-switch, the stacks of spinies fall into the abyss and spike tops get destroyed by sweet gold bricks. The resulting destruction gives Luigi a key to move on toward the treasure. Luigi misses his mansion adventures and wants to explore some more ghost houses. He enters to find a possessed Lakitu's cloud with a boo ring surrounding it. He needs to save the cloud from being haunted. This setup works because the Boo Ring is technically inside the cloud, even though the ghosts are circling around it. The Lakitu's Cloud and Boo Ring act exactly the same way as they would separately. The cloud hovers horizontally while following Luigi's location, and the Boo Ring spins slowly clockwise. For Luigi to save the cloud, he needs some gear. A spiked helmet drops out of a pipe on the right, allowing him to equip it. This setup with a bumper and a cloud block prevents Luigi from taking extra shells that he can throw upward to cheese the fight. 
Now that he has a weapon, he has to jump up and destroy each boo in the ring individually while avoiding the stretch boos that try to hurt him on the floor. Once the last boo in the ring is vanquished, Luigi gets a key and the Lakitu's cloud can finally rest. If you're enjoying these ideas, be sure to check out the codes of the courses made by amazing creators in the description below. The Boos have stolen the cloud back and have devised a plan for revenge on Luigi. In this idea, giant Boos form stacks on the outside of the arena that slowly close in. King Boo has taken over piloting the Lakitu's cloud and chases Luigi with his lethal face. The wailing walls are stacked on top of a muncher that sits on a fast conveyor belt. An off-screen on-off contraption is hit by a shelmet at a set interval of time to make the Boo Towers slowly close in on Luigi. Because the two state blocks hold the muncher back, the stacks can only move inward two spaces at a time. Luigi will need to jump over King Boo strategically while avoiding the walls to survive this dreadful fight. To add danger, we also make sure that Luigi is small before entering the fight. This makes the encounter even spookier. Every jump counts. If Luigi can manage to survive long enough, a star will appear, making him invincible. He can then destroy the evil boos, taste the sweet gold, and use his key to escape. Reunited with his new cloud friend, Luigi decides to soar high into the sky and finds an airship. He enters into an arena where the only way forward is guarded by mean munchers. He'll have to find a way to destroy them to reach the exit pipe. In the night airship theme, Cheep Cheeps and Fishbones can swim the sky where in the day theme they would simply fall down. The green Cheep Cheeps here will fall slowly until they're on the same horizontal plane as Luigi and then swim towards him relentlessly. The Fishbones also get really angry when they see Luigi and immediately swim at him full speed to crash into him. While dodging these kamikaze fish, Luigi needs to activate on-off switches with Lakitu Clouds. The cloud he saved enlisted his family members to help out with the encounter by popping out of the Bill Blasters on the left. He can pilot any of these clouds to fly upward and hit a brick block that will launch a shell up through this mechanism to hit a switch. After he activates the on-off on one side, it becomes blocked and he'll need to fly to the other side. Luigi must trigger an on-off a total of six times to obliterate all three munchers and escape these fish for good. If you've seen anything new in this video, be sure to hit the like button. Bowser's feeling depressed that his crush Peach has never returned his affection. He wants to destroy himself and anyone who comes in contact. Luigi takes it upon himself to comfort the misunderstood King Koopa and keep him from self-harm. In this arena, Bowser will ground pound once in a while and needs to be stopped. If Bowser does hit the ground, the pow block is triggered, removing this Koopa. The muncher that was on top of the Koopa then falls onto a P-switch, causing the floor to turn into sweet but painful gold. In order to survive in this encounter, Luigi will have to equip a shellmet to go outside. He's also able to bring an extra shell with him just in case. Right when he enters, he gets a coin to satisfy the clear condition, but has a tough challenge ahead. He will need to jump to avoid winged lava bubbles on tracks and block Bowser's fire with his helmet. His main objective is to headbutt the ground pounding Bowser to keep both of them alive. If he manages to keep them safe long enough, a platform will drop onto this track, allowing Luigi to exit back through the pipe. At the beginning of this video, I promised you a truly epic idea, and here it is! Uh, I can't be right. Just when Luigi thought he had bested Bowser, he comes back bigger and angrier than ever. In this idea, Bowser actually chases Luigi throughout the level, like in some classic Mario games. Walls of hard blocks stop the camera from moving through a technique called scroll stopping. Luigi will have to get Bowser to shoot his fire to break the wall before either of them can continue forward. Hidden on-off contraptions also keep the pace consistent. The two state blocks prevent Bowser from just stomping on Luigi and also prevents Luigi from outrunning Bowser. Using a bill blaster that's covered on one side ensures that it only shoots when Luigi's in an area that we want him to be. Mushrooms appear periodically throughout this chase helping Luigi survive longer 
but not giving him ammunition to defeat Bowser with the Fire Flower. In order to win, he will need Bowser to uncover the axe with his meteors. Luigi can then carefully jump onto the axe to defeat Bowser in this epic course. Click on the playlist on the screen right now to see more incredible boss ideas. If you want more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.